McKinley Thompson joined Ford Motor Company after graduating from the Art Center College of Design in 1956. He was the first black designer hired by a major American automaker. While at Ford, Thompson conceived a car of his own, a rugged, reliable vehicle for developing African nations where paved roads were rare. He built a prototype using a rear-engine Renault chassis, and he topped it with a body made from an inexpensive composite plastic material. Thompson called his car the Warrior, an automobile designed to conquer time and distance. He demonstrated his prototype to potential investors, but while everyone appreciated the idea, no one was willing to fund it. Thompson considered going into business to build the cars himself, but was denied the needed bank loan. Ultimately, he and his family turned the prototype into a recreational car, adding a CB radio, a cassette player, even a squeeze bulb horn, and they had fun driving it on vacations in northern Michigan. McKinley Thompson presented the Warrior to the Henry Ford in 2001. I'm Matt Anderson, here at Durham Transportation at the Henry Ford.